Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. This week, we're going to talk about some pans and baking surfaces for pizza in your oven. And That's we'd... going to be the title? <laughs> I'm still working on the title. So pizza pans? Pizza pans and stuff, st- st- stones and things. We'd like to thank Rochelle Brown for including us in an article she wrote called Thrifty After 50. And you can check it out at nextavenue.org. That's N E X T. A-V-E-N-U-E dot org. October is National Pizza Month, which was created by the Pizza Today magazine. The ancient Egyptians cooked a flatbread in ovens that some historians call one of the first types of pizza. The ancient Greeks and Romans ate flatbread with olive oil and spices on top. One of the first pizzas with a tomato sauce, cheese, and toppings was made in Italy in the late 1800s. One type was named after Queen Margarita. She liked tomatoes, mozzarella slices, and basil. Hmm. What is a pizza pan? Most pizza pans are thin, circular pans to hold a pizza so it can be cooked in an oven. But there are also rectangular pizza pans and pans with tall sides for deep dish pizza. People probably think we like deep dish pizza because we're from the Chicagoland area. Right. (laughs) I don't. Do you? No, I'm not a fan. My dad did, occasionally. He would order a small one for himself, Okay. and he would have one piece, (laughs) and nobody else would eat it, so they'd end up throwing it out. Oh, that's where it didn't save it for later. No, man. That much cheese? (laughs) Ugh. What are pizza pans made of? Aluminum, carbon steel, and stainless steel are common materials for a pizza pan. Aluminum pans conduct heat well. Anodized aluminum is stronger and more durable, and it usually has a dark finish, which is going to cook faster. Carbon steel gets very hot and holds heat well. Stainless steel is durable, but it's not a great heat conductor. Perforated stainless steel pizza pans will transfer heat better, or you can preheat a stainless steel pan in the oven for a crispier crust. What are the different styles of pizza pans? A tray or coupe pizza pan is round and has a slightly raised curved edge. This is the standard pizza pan for an oven. Mm -hmm. Wide rim pizza pans have a wider rim, so it's easier to lift the pan out of the oven with oven mitts and not get your mitt into the pizza. That's good. There are pizza pans with elongated areas on opposite sides that create a handle-like area so you can grab the pan easier. You can get a pizza pan with loop handles, which is a nice feature for a heavier cast iron pizza pan. A cutter pizza pan has an angled edge that isn't rolled over like a standard pizza pan. The top edge lets you use a rolling pin to trim off excess dough if you're making your own pizza. A thinner pan in general will give you a crispier crust than a thicker pan in the same material. Okay. Have you ever made your own pizza? (laughs) <laughs> no, never. You? We did in like 7th or 8th grade in home ec. We made the dough, used some canned tomato sauce. Okay. I went home and made it for my parents. Yeah, it's cool. They weren't impressed. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. Does the color of the pizza pan matter like it does with baking sheets? Yeah, dark colored pizza pans will absorb more heat, which is going to cook your pizza faster than a light colored pan, hmm. which is pretty interesting. Because my mom always had set times on the frozen pizzas that she liked. Okay, sure. So don't read the instructions. Just throw it in there for 20 (laughs) minutes. Boom. But then I bought her a new pizza pan. Okay. And it was a darker color. Okay. And that threw the whole thing out (laughs) the window. The whole system broke down. How do you clean pizza pans? It's similar to cleaning baking sheets. You want to clean your pan immediately with hot, soapy water and a sponge. You can use warm water, baking soda, and a sponge for stuck-on food. Non-stick pizza pans are going to be the easiest to clean, but check the temperature restrictions for the non-stick coating if you're cooking at high temperatures or on a grill. And there's a lot of different types of materials, so read the care instructions for your pizza pan. Because some companies don't want you to cut a pizza on the pizza pan. Right, especially with a non-stick coating. Right. 
Why do some pizza pans have holes and others don't? The holes transfer heat evenly and allow moisture to escape from the crust. Pizza pans with holes, they say, are good for thin crust pizza for a crispier crust. Pizza pans without holes hold more moisture while cooking for a softer, chewier crust. And it's going to take a little longer to bake a pizza on a pan without holes. Okay. What are some top-rated pizza pan companies? Wilton, it's W-I-L-T-O-N, Lodge, L-O-D-G-E, Kelfalon, it's C-A-L-P-H-A-L-O-N, Cuisinart, C-U-I-S-I-N-A-R-T, T-Fall, it's T-F-A-L, Nordicware, it's N-O-R-D-I-C, capital W-A-R-E, KitchenAid, K-I-T-C-H-E-N, capital A-I-D, and Chicago Metallic Deep Dish. And it's just Chicago and Metallic <laughs> and Deep Dish. And there's no special spelling on that one. Okay, great. What is a pizza screen? This is usually a round aluminum mesh with a thin, flat frame all around the mesh. And it's going to cook pizza very fast. You're going to get a crispy crust when using a pizza screen. It has even more exposed crust compared to a perforated pizza pan. Mm -hmm. The pizza screens are lightweight, they're thin, easy to store, and it can be used for baking bread and other types of food. What are some top-rated pizza screen companies? Winco, it's W-I-N-C-O, New Star, N-E-W, capital S-T-A-R, and American Metalcraft. So you're going to spell New Star, but not Metalcraft. That's uh, one word. M-E-T-A-L-C-R-A-F-T. One word. Thank you. What is a pizza stone? A pizza stone is a flat, usually rectangular slab of cordierite, ceramic, or composite material. You heat this up in the oven, and then you put your pizza on it. The stone is going to radiate a lot of heat to bake the dough evenly and faster than a pizza pan, and you're going to get a crispy crust. If you're making your own pizza dough, the hot surface causes the dough to expand quickly, which will give it a better texture. Hmm. Some stones come in a set of small tile-like sections that you set next to each other, and then you would lay your pizza on that. And the tiles are going to make it easier to handle than a large pizza stone slab. Right. A ceramic stone is going to be less expensive. A cordierite pizza stone is more durable than a ceramic. What is it? Cordierite is a mineral compound that's added to ceramic, and that makes it stronger. Cool. How do you clean a pizza stone? You just brush it off when you're done. You don't want to soak it in water or use soap on it. The soap can be absorbed into the stone. Oh, so that's easy enough. Yeah, right. What are some top-rated pizza stone companies? Solido, it's S-O-L-I-D-O. Honey Can Do, it's H-O-N-E-Y, capital C A N capital D-O, Outset, it's O-U-T-S-E-T, and Cuisinart. Cool. What is a pizza steel? A pizza steel is similar to a pizza stone, just made out of steel, and it gets hotter than a pizza stone. Hmm. A pizza stone or steel preheated in the oven is going to help regulate the oven temperature and keep it hot if you're cooking multiple pizzas and opening the door multiple times. Oh. Well, that's nice. That would have been good for Christmas Eve at my grandparents' house. Okay. So my mom's family is Italian. So on Christmas Eve, it's fish soup, octopus, <laughs> calamari. Wow. So my dad and my sister, they didn't eat fish. Okay. So it was a rough holiday for them. <laughs> so grandma would make frozen pizzas, but she liked them crispy. Right. And she would burn the bottom all the time. So they <laughs> were just that, not happy. That's fun. Eventually, they just went to sandwiches. <laughs> How do you clean a pizza steel? A couple companies where I read the care instructions said not to use soap on the surface of a pizza steel. When you heat it up, they say it will kill any germs on the pizza steel, and it will also turn any droppings into ash, hmm. so it can be brushed or scraped off easily. Right. A couple of them said, leave the steel in the oven after cooking for storage. It's much easier because some of these are very heavy. Right. A pizza steel can also be used for other food like bread or a roast in a roasting pan. A couple of recommendations I saw from companies said preheat your pizza steel in the oven for an hour at 500 degrees 
before you put your pizza on it. Wow. And a pizza cooked on a pizza steel is going to cook faster than a pizza stone. America's test kitchen liked pizza steels better than a pizza stone when they were doing their testing. Okay. What are some top-rated pizza steel companies? The Original Baking Steel, Nerd Chef, it's N-E-R-D, capital C-H-E-F, Modernist Cuisine, and Dojo Pizza Steel. So it's <laughs> D-O-U-G-H, capital J-O-E. Cute. What is a pizza peel? Have you uh, heard of any of these terms? Yeah, a couple, a couple I haven't heard of. Before this week? <laughs> well, a couple of things I've seen, like a pizza peel I've seen. Right. But I, you know. Well, so explain what it is so they know. So a pizza peel is like a large spatula. So you can load, remove, and turn a pizza on a pizza stone or a pizza steel. Mm-hmm. It's going to make using a stone or steel much easier and safer. And the peels come in aluminum, stainless steel, wood, or composite with short or long handles A short handle is going to work well for a home oven, and it's going to be easier to store. Right. Do you have any tips for cooking a pizza? A couple cooks recommended that if you're just starting to use a pizza stone or a pizza steel, to put your pizza on a pizza screen, and it's going to be much easier to load it onto the stone or steel and to remove it. They Hmm. say with the dough just off the surface, it makes it less likely you're going to burn it if you're not watching it closely. All right. And I got some tips from America's Test Kitchen. They say if you want a homemade pizza to taste like a restaurant pizza, use a pizza stone or a pizza steel. Pizza stones cook slower than a pizza steel. The stone holds the heat and radiates it gently, where a steel radiates it more intensely. Hmm, interesting. Get a pizza stone or steel larger than your normal pizza size, so it's easy to lay the pizza on it and remove the pizza. What is a normal size pizza? You know, I looked at Domino's, Pizza Hut, and Aurelio's. Mm-hmm. A small at Domino's is 8 to 10 inches, medium 12 inches, large 14 inches. Pizza Hut, their medium now is 7 and a half inches. The large is 10 and 3 quarters of an inch. Wow, that's a huge difference. Aurelio's, their small is 10 inches, medium 13 inches, and large 15 inches. Wow. What are some other cooking tips? America's Test Kitchen recommends a square or rectangular stone or steel, not circular. They're easier to lay the pizza on the surface. Hmm. And a stone is going to be easier to lift and move compared to a steel. Okay. They also recommend preheating a pizza stone or pizza steel in the oven for an hour at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that seems like a long time. (laughs) Yeah, it does. I read an article on the Cook's Illustrated website about preheating a pizza stone or steel. They tested pizza stones preheated for different periods of time. Mm -hmm. They wanted to find out if preheating a stone for an hour is necessary for good results. And preheating for an hour is recommended by some companies. Yeah, so what did they find out? They tested four pizza stones in four ovens at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The stone preheated for an hour had a surface temperature of 509 degrees, and after 10 minutes, the pizza was brown and crisp. The stone preheated for 45 minutes had a surface temperature of 451 degrees Fahrenheit, and it moderately browned the pizza after 10 minutes. Okay. The stone preheated for 30 minutes had a surface temperature of 415 degrees Fahrenheit, and they said the pizza looked anemic in color after 10 (laughs) minutes. The stone preheated for 15 minutes at a surface temperature of 291 degrees Fahrenheit, and they said the pizza looked pale after 10 minutes. So they recommend preheating your steel or your stone for an hour. Good to know. Do you have to season pizza pans? If you have an uncoated pizza pan, screen, or steel, check the care instructions for your model. The company Made In, it's M-A-D-E dash capital I-N, has some tips for seasoning carbon steel cookware. You would clean the pan with warm water and soap, and to season or re-season a pan, wash it thoroughly for about five minutes, dry it, and put it on a stove top to warm it up and remove any moisture. Use a high smoke point oil, like grapeseed oil, Put a small amount of the oil onto the warm pan and use a paper towel to spread it, then wipe off all the excess with a paper towel. 
you would preheat your oven 25 degrees higher than the smoke point and leave it in the oven for an hour. Then turn off the oven and let the pan cool. Cool. The company Lodge, L-O-D-G-E, has cast iron pizza pans. They recommend using a high smoke point oil, apply a thin coat of it to the pan, and then wipe off the excess and put it into an oven that's at 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour, then turn it off and let it cool. All right. What are some top-rated pizza cutters? OXO, it's O-X-O, KitchenAid, K-I-T-C-H-E-N, capital A-I-D, and Rosel, R-O-S-L-E. And this company has been in business since 1888. Cool. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? I think that's a good overview of pizza pans, stones, and steels, and a good starting place for your own research. And we'll be doing an episode on pizza makers and pizza ovens in the future. And I ran across a couple interesting YouTube channels for for, for pizza tips and recipes. Check out Thursday Night Pizza, their channel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Vito Jacopelli, it's V-I-T-O, and his last name is L-A-C-O-P-E-L-L-I. And then there's a channel called Pizza Channel. (laughs) Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our eBooks, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know, Books 1 through 16 on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com. You can follow Cindy on Twitter at fixitcohost. And you can follow us on Instagram, fixithomeimprovement. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week. Do you